nails are done. Just need to sort your hair and your face out, and then we'll get you in the car and get you to church. Yes, sounds right. Only I was thinking of doing it in reverse order. Joke. <laughs> Everything all right? If by all right you mean totally amazing, then yes. Yes, some music to my ears. I hope you've made plenty. The numbers keep swelling. I've invited Aaron now to say thank you for sourcing Robert's wedding gift. It certainly all looks great. Mmm, make sure you taste it. Mmm. What do you have? It's amazing. Right, I better get to the church, make sure everything is as it should mm -hmm. be. You do that. Ah. I'll be as quick as I can, traffic permitting. You do know you're going to get to the airport long before Rebecca's plane even lands. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Just a shame she couldn't make it over here before the actual day of your wedding. Yes, well, after what happened in Mexico... Uh, there'll be no repeat of that, I can promise you. Trust me, today, Robert is going to make you the happiest woman alive. If not, you'll have me to answer to. And me. We need a chat, not here. Morning. It's tea in the pot. Hiya. Hiya. Well, it's probably cold by now, like, but... I suppose I best go get a shower. Good idea. You'd never know he was getting married today. Cool as a cucumber, this one. Yeah, or maybe he's just good at hiding things. You might be onto something there, pet. So, what is it that was so important? You know, because it's what we both want. I'm getting married today. When are you going to get it through your head? Look, yesterday I made a mess of things. I just don't want things to end like this between us. It's fine. As far as I'm concerned, it's forgotten about. It doesn't change anything. It's over. You can get away for half an hour, can't you? Meet me at Wiley's farm. Sorry. Please, Robert. Just one last goodbye. Fine. After that, it's over, right? Yeah, I know. You're getting married, you don't have to tell me again. Oh, and you can handle that. I don't have a choice, do I? Well, it depends. If you really think you can accept this for what it is, then... Then what? Well, maybe I was a bit too hard on you yesterday. If you think you can handle it, then this doesn't really have to be over. Meet me at Wiley's later. When? I'll text you. Oh, I was going to drop this off at the surgery. Well, that's Bill. Hope Cash is OK. Oh. Well, that depends whether it's real money or fairy money. Uh, yes, the only envelope I can find. One of Sarah's. Ah. Hang on. Yeah, enjoy the wedding. Some of us aren't even invited. So, what's the plan? Yeah, look, um, about that. What I thought I knew, I was wrong. Well, you seem pretty sure yesterday. What's changed? Just forget it, all right? Robert's not having an affair. Look, he'll never know it came from you. Right, I promise. Just tell me what you know. I guess I messed you around. I'm sorry. But I think you need to let this go. Yeah. Right. Charming. Bang out of order with me yesterday, she was. Obsessed with getting at Robert. Right. So are you going to tell me what's going on? I don't know. No? Oh, good. Do enjoy these little chats of ours. Uh, do you not think you should start getting ready? On account of it being your wedding day and all that. Men, they're just not wired the same as us. It takes about five minutes to put a suit on. Or maybe a bit longer for Andy, right? Yeah, whatever. About time. Call yourself the best man. You should have been here hours ago. Yeah, sorry. No, don't worry about it. Is everything OK? Yeah, don't worry, Rob. We're not going to cause any domestic scenes. We don't want to steal the limelight. Good to know. Not that he's worried about much. Very laid back, this one. Or hungover. Now that you mention it, do you fancy a beer? No, I best not. You're the best man. It's tradition, isn't it? Or maybe not. Either way, go get us a couple of beers. I feel like uh, being reckless. That's more like it. Just the one mind. I don't want you being reckless and legless. Come on. He uh, doesn't know, does he? About Wiley's farm? Not yet. Why well, are you worried he's going to blame you? Chrissy's not going to change her mind. He's going to find out sooner or later. Well, everything comes out in the end, right? What have I missed? Nothing. Where's yours? Uh, no, like I said, don't really fancy it. Yeah, me neither. Of 
Go on, then. What? You're your best man, aren't you? Not going to let him out your sight. Taking the time getting those suits on. Are you sure you're OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Lawrence, let me guess. You've just realised how much today is going to cost you. Let me get you a brandy. <laughs> Tempting, though that sounds. Is Robert around? I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Rebecca's flight's been cancelled and she's not going to be able to make the wedding. I'm so sorry. Andy, where's your brother? I've got to go and sign for this delivery. Oh, hang on. I'll get hand. He's not here. He said he won't be long. Something about Chris's wedding gift. Oh, OK. Never mind. I'd better go break the news to Chrissy. Oh, and... Um, Please, the pair of you, try not to ruin their day. And why shouldn't I? Because I asked you nicely and because it's their wedding. Well, they're the ones who pulled out on the sale of Wiley's farm, so really, I don't owe them a thing. Really? It's the first I've heard. First you've heard of what? Well, Katie seems to think that Robert and Chrissy have pulled the sale of the farm. You are? Since when? Well, I wasn't going to say anything. Not today. I don't believe this. What have you done now? Nothing! Right, can't you see this is Robert's way of getting at me? What is wrong with you, Katie? I thought you dropped all this. Now you've got even worse. I don't think you should come to the wedding. It will suits me. Well, seeing as you clearly don't give a toss, maybe I should think about moving out permanently. Fine. I don't have long. So I can see. I thought this is what you wanted. I don't believe it. Please don't get married. Aaron, come on. I, I, I thought I could handle it, but I, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you can't call off the wedding. No, I'm sorry you can't accept the way things are. I don't want this to be over either. You say that's today in your wedding suit. I don't play the injured party here. You, you knew what you were getting into. You knew the situation. Yeah, unlike Chrissy. Do you know that poor cow's actually invited me to a wedding? Nice of her, that, innit? Me being a fiancé's gay lover. Aaron, please. I love her. Oh, come off it, Robert. Stop lying to yourself. Do you really think I'm about to stand around and watch you make the biggest mistake of your life? Why are you so determined to make this harder than it needs to be? Because I love you. That's why. And I think you feel the same. Don't tell me I'm wrong. I know how I feel. You're confused. No, you're the one that's confused. Trust me, I've been there. Oh, Aaron, not this again. Look, I'm not like you. So why are you then? I don't need to put myself in a box to know who I am. This, us, it isn't real. Well, it feels pretty real to me. Look, I'm, I'm getting married. Today. I'm sorry, but that's my reality. Do you know what? I get it. It's hard to admit who you really are after all this time, but you'll never be happy until you do. Oh, because you're a regular little ray of sunshine. I'm not some confused, tortured kid who hates who he is. I love Chrissy. But yeah, it's me that you meet for sex. And I'm a man. And I'm not the first. Which just goes to prove this isn't a love story. You know, whatever you think this is, it's not gonna go away, you know. And what happens when Chrissy finds out, because she will soon enough. Please tell me that isn't a threat. No. I don't want to ruin your life. You'll do that all by yourself if you marry her, but worse, you'll ruin hers as well. Look, I hope you find what you're looking for. Because I have. And a couple of hours from now, she's going to be my wife. My drop-dead gorgeous wife. Just listen to yourself. No, Aaron, you listen to me. We're done. Got it? It's over. You don't mean that.
away. That must be your motto, that. Why do you think you treat people like her? Spare me the lecture. All right, fine. You know, I've never been big up on chat anyway. What are you doing? What does it look like? Make your mind up, Aaron. It's a bit rich coming from you, innit? You know, I never really thought about your feelings when all this started. I didn't really think feelings came into it. Yeah, no kidding. And now? Well, the truth is, for me, they still don't. I don't believe you. Well, that's your problem. Doesn't really matter, though. Well, this is a surprise.